Steve Young, you had a heck of a game, two sacks. What's it like working with either Bo Davis, Kevin Peoples, you know, all the guys you brought in as far as the D-line coaches? How have they really helped you? Um, I felt like they really opened my eyes to, like, the pass rush world. You know, of course I knew the simple things about being able to pass rush, but they break it down into a more complex way to where it's easy to understand. How do you feel like um, P.J. Woodland, Ashton Stamps, how do you feel like those guys did in the game against USC, and um, what do you think they need to improve on going forward uh, for, to prepare for Nichols? Uh, I feel like they did a phenomenal job. You know, even though they didn't throw the flag a couple times when they were supposed to, um, I felt like they didn't complain much. They kept their head down and just was able to finish through the ball. As a whole, how much do you think the defense improved as opposed to what we saw last year? Um, I felt like the defense improved a lot. You know, I feel like one of the main ways we improved was because of the trust that we have in each other. You know, I trust that the backfield is going to be able to do their job, and they trust that we're going to be able to do our job. Coach Kelly said it was a little frustrating that there was a ball on the ground a few times, right? Just couldn't quite get it in terms of getting some turnovers. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to turnover, it's just it's only one thing that you need. You got to be able to hustle to the ball. And I felt like we didn't have that full sense of urgency to get to the ball. Now, I mean, we came close a couple of times, but I mean, close and getting it ain't the same thing. So. You grew up not far from Nichols, right? I mean, not- yeah, like uh, like 50 minutes. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know any of those guys on the team, or that played in the River Parishes or whatnot? Yeah, I know. I know one of them. Um, I want to say his number 66, uh, Samaj. He went to uh, my rivalry school, Lutcha High School. So it would be nice to be able to play against him again. What would you make of the player your defensive tackles? Because, you know, that was kind of a spot that everyone was watching, whether it was fall camp, because we had a bunch of veteran guys like you on the edge. What would you make of the defensive guys, like, in the middle? Oh, I, I think they did great. You know, um, being able to play on side of them is good. It's a good thing. And whenever I'm watching them, like, if I'm in film watching them, you know, people say this, people say that. But when I'm watching them, what I see is, you know, some um, football players that, you know, want to be great. You talked a little bit about the trust between you and the other guys. Um, how much trust do you guys have in Blake Baker and what he's doing with the, with the defense? Well, I feel like I speak for the whole defense when I say this. Uh, I feel like everybody got their trust in Coach Baker. And, you know, I feel like that trust comes because he able to connect with us. You know, it's not all business with him. He knows when to clown with us. He knows when not to clown with us. So I feel like as a unit, we got a lot of trust in him. Uh, what are your thoughts of playing a home game, getting back in Tiger Stadium? Well, uh, it's going to be exciting to be able to finally play a home game again, especially since it's the 100-year anniversary. The whole stadium got renovated, and it's a local college that's not that far away from us. So, of course, it's going to be packed out. So I'm excited to play in it again. You looking forward to seeing your picture on that Jumbotron, that, that big video Yeah, screen? especially since my last year. So. Savion, even though you guys were not victorious on Sunday, anybody that watched could tell that the defense kind of made a 180 from last year. What's kind of the vibe in that defensive room heading into this week two matchup? You know, um, it was definitely a sad moment when we lost, but we don't we don't mourn our losses for that long because we know that it's just as much bad thing to happen out there is just as much good thing. I feel like we had a lot of effort and enthusiasm going out there. And, you know, we just need to work on finishing and our discipline. Uh, Mason Taylor said the morale of the team was still good uh, after the loss. How would you just describe how you guys are feeling moving forward? Oh, yeah, it, it was definitely good. Like I said, um, it was definitely a sad moment. You know, we all felt like we should have won that game. We definitely had the talent and, uh, you know, the physical is to beat them. But... We all know what we need to do next, so we keep our head down and, you know, we just move on to the next game. For you, what's the key to stack games, like have another game like you just had? Say that again? What's the key for you to stack games, like have a game against Nichols like you just had against, you know, USC? 
Well, I feel like the key for me is just to, you know, not not get a big head, you know. Just just as people can have a bad game, one bad game, and the rest of the season be good, somebody can have a good game and the rest of the season be bad. And I feel like I understand that. So I just need to continue working on little things and try to be consistent. Mm -hmm.